This is a 48 year old male with a flat foot deformity of the left foot caused by dysfunction of the tibialis posterior tendon. He did present with an MRI and I subsequently did an ultrasound to compare my findings on ultrasound with his MRI which does demonstrate a very enlarged thickened tibialis posterior tendon with a tear within the tendon as well. This is a 48 year old male with six months of pain in the left foot. Immediately there was no injury, pain with walking, no physical therapy, no injections. Here's our patient, uh, six, seven months of pain in this left foot. You can see how flat it is compared to the other, other side. The other side still has somewhat of an arch. That foot is really flat, kind of swollen, very tender in the region of the tibialis posterior tendon, no trauma, intermittent pain with walking, MRI is consistent with tibialis posterior dysfunction, swelling. I'm going to go ahead and do an ultrasound today. So here's his MRI that he presented with. You can see the tibialis posterior tendon is enlarged and there's some fluid around it. MRI of the left ankle. You can see the swollen, very enlarged tibialis posterior tendon. Typically it could be twice the size of the flexor digitorum longus tendon, but in this case it's about three times bigger or perhaps even four times bigger. Consistent with swelling and tendinosis. And you can see here tibialis posterior tendon is bigger than you would expect. And again here are his structures, tibial nerve, um, flexor retinaculum, and an enlarged tibialis posterior tendon with tear as well. Sometimes the tears in the posterior tibial in the tibialis posterior tendons can make it look like two separate tendons. So you don't want to get confused and mistake part of the tibialis posterior tendon for the flexor digitorum longus tendon. Usually it's about twice as big as the flexor digitorum longus tendon, but you can see that it's kind of it's elongated, irregular. And there may be some intrasubstance tearing, I suspect, based on this ultrasound. And also you can see the deltoid ligament, the tibial calcaneal part, underneath the tibialis posterior tendon. Here's some anisotropy. 13-22nd slide. Just toggling the probe and you can just see some anisotropy of that tibialis posterior tendon. First 13-24, uh, we're just starting at the tibia. first tendon that we're going to hit is tibialis posterior. So in sagittal view, sometimes it's hard to distinguish between tendons as they kind of just roll into yeah, each other. I believe we just have two tendons kind of combined, tibialis posterior with the uh, flexor digitorum longus. You could see somewhat of a division between them.